Podcast Network Entertainment. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, our very special and expected musical guest, we have Lady, Lady Gaga. I want your love and I want your revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. I want your love and all your lovers' revenge. You and me could write a bad romance. But you have a boom boom. Yeah. All right. Clearly, that's a pretty dead giveaway okay. as to what That's we're going a... to be discussing. Dead giveaway. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can we even begin? Uh, we usually start oh. off by saying his name is Chico Garcia. Mm-hmm. And his name is Gino Kiliamor. <laughs> we usually start by saying his name is oh, uh, like, Chico Garcia and his name is Gino Kiliamor. But today, we will no, say no. his name no, 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 is no. Arthur Fleck. <laughs> I don't want to change anything anymore because... Clearly, changing things messes with everything. But we are only fun, okay. uh, and we are here to talk about you know TV shows, movies, and whatever. And today we are talking about uh, the much heated, the very, very polarizing Joker folly ado. Uh, Is it? Is it polarizing? <laughs> I mean, there's like 9% <laughs> of the people that believe that it's the greatest film ever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's still polarizing. And, okay, That's still okay. Polarizing. to be fair, it did get like what? An 11 minute standing ovation at Cannes, right? Venice. Venice. Or Venice pala. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm just not cultured enough. Maybe I'm just not a snob. I don't know. But whenever anything gets a standing ovation for that long in artsy fartsy film festivals, like I always have this sinking feeling that uh oh, uh oh, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy this one. As in that's that was the that was the thought process that I had because prior to being able to catch the the premiere, a bunch of friends and I were already talking about because we love the first one, we really of did. We of love course. the first one, and then. When people were talking about how it's a musical, which a lot of people seem to have an issue with. And for me, honestly, I don't have an issue with musicals. I love musicals. I know you love musicals. Oh, duh. But Look, I don't know. I, I love Lady Gaga. No, no. Uh-huh. I love musicals above right, right. everything else. Yeah. And I love Lady Gaga. Yeah. I love Joker. The uh-huh. you know the first one was right. amazing. What for me one of the best I've ever mm-hmm. seen. I'm a big Oscar nerd, yeah. and you know Joaquin Phoenix having won it, I was like, oh, uh-huh. thank you. Uh, oh, I thought, sorry, inject lang one quick one. Oh, okay, first Joker, Joaquin Phoenix was going toe to toe against Heath Ledger. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like in the mm-hmm. conversation of like, oh hey, who's the best Joker? Toe to toe, and that Ledger. was an untouchable thing. Yeah, that because, was an untouchable thing because you know, I mean, like he had his dying for the role, you know, exactly, kind of like going exactly. for him also, and he did like mm. a really brilliant job. But he went toe to toe. Like people were like, "Yo, you know, um, may laban kung bakak may laban kay Heath Ledger." And then Barnan, the worst Joker of all time, was Jared Leto, right? And ang galing lang na yung first movie toe to toe with the best. In second movie, Toto Tosha, with the worst. Diba, nakakatawa lang. Like, how polarizing okay. is it? Na, I mean, how how ironic is it? <laughs> you know, the jump talaga from mm-hmm. one to two is like, has to be, siguro has to be studied. You know, yeah. like, alam mo, yeah. sex lagi may ganon. The ganyan-ganyan has to be studied. You know, right? This is the perfect, like, how? How does it, how does it go from one to the sequel? I mean, nasa nasa level siya for me ng the last time I've seen this kind of fall from uh-huh. like super from Greece. super loved mm-hmm. to like super reviled was mm-hmm. speed. Like the difference Akala between was, speed. Akala was speed D. I'm like, damn. <laughs> no, no, no. Was speed one. Oh, okay, speed one and, and speed two. Speed two. Yeah, 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 like my yeah. gosh, like yeah. worlds. And apart. it stars the same, well, same-ish. Uh, I mean, Sandra Bullock same was still lady. the same oh, too, right? Same yeah, leading yeah, yeah. lady. Yeah. So, um, okay, like I was saying, yeah. I love musicals. I love yeah. Lady Gaga and I love the first Joker. <clears throat> okay, and leading into this, before I watch this, 
I was just telling Hazel that mm. I was absolutely in love with Harlequin, the, okay. the album of Lady Gaga, the one uh, you know where she sings a lot of the songs inspired in, by or uh, included in the film Fully Ado. Now, right. it's not a soundtrack album. This is like a completely... Yeah, it's a separate. These from are the different movie. versions. Like, for example, um, you know, you know, get happy when the saints right. come marching in. Those songs figured in the movie, but the ones yeah. in the album, Harlequin, yeah. are different versions of it. They're Lady Gaga's version of it. And oh my gosh, like I was in Palawan when I first heard it. Like <laughs> yun yung soundtrack nung what a flex. entire stay <laughs> No, 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 no. No, because I remember. Did you mean you were in Palawan in your own resorts? Like the entire you hotelier you. <laughs> that that entire time that I was there, yeah. it was the only thing that was playing in my like playlist. Because I loved it. Like it was a, a, a refreshed version of songs. That we all love, you know, like yeah. if my friends could see me now, that's uh -huh. life. I love their version of it. So, you know, leading into this, uh -huh. even after I started reading the uh, no, the stuff, so oh, because, yeah. you know, I want to make my own decision. You know the, me, yeah. you know, I would which never we still encourage, uh, because which we still okay. encourage. Because yeah, I, I think I think we're both on the same page in terms of you mm -hmm. know whether we liked mm -hmm. it or not, right? Mm -hmm. But there are people who absolutely love it, so it just could be you. That's my point. Na parang, you know, watch it for yourself because you never know. Like what might be bad for me might be really good for you, or you know, it could be. Ako the same. Kasi, go ahead. I, hmm. I, it could have worked. You mm -hmm. know, if let's say it was, I don't know, like maybe if from the start they said it was going to be a musical, or maybe no, if, but they did. They, they, I mean. It's weird. It's conflicting because Todd Phillips was always saying, that, "Oh, it's not a musical." But a couple of days or a couple of weeks before the movie actually came out, they were saying it's a musical. You know what I mean? Wait, so it, oh, well, yun nga, eh, parang if you kind of missed it, I missed it. I, no, okay. I didn't see any any announcement. Okay, and but if you, you take away the, the musical part, do you think you would have enjoyed it if it just was just a you know a straight play, quote unquote? I don't think I don't think it would have made the difference because the music well, for me yeah. wasn't what kind of killed it. You know what I mean? It like, was one of the things. It like was one of the me, things. Yeah. Ah, uh, It was also so self-aware. You, you you realize this, right? Like, yeah, okay, there yeah. was there was one scene where they were in the courtroom. We're kind of doing a spoilery thing because it's coming out on digital by October twenty nine anyway. So <laughs> it is. It is. Um. Okay, so there's one scene there where where Harley Quinn or Lady Gaga's character, Lady Gaga, I love was, how we're so was basically saying, "Na anyan, we're gonna build mountains out of hills." This, you know, she was so convinced, and then some random person in the courtroom was saying, "What does that even mean?" And let me put it so self aware because like, what the fuck do you mean? What is that supposed to mean? And then there's one point. Di ba na uso siya sa ano? Na uso siya sa ex. Yung biglang uh, merong ano yung uh, Joker dot dot. I'm going yeah. to analyze myself. <laughs> Lady yeah. Gaga dot dot. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> and some they get some random like <laughs> dancing and singing video. There's there's one oh. there's one part also where <clears throat> because there's probably like what thirteen musical numbers. And okay, I think the thing that I like about musicals is that when you know um I just watched six the musical uh in 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 Solaire. Recently, and I've never heard of it, so I can't say na parang I'm already familiar with the songs, and that's why I liked it. But I walked into it knowing now, of, of course, it's going to be a musical, but I don't know the song. But I absolutely mm -hmm. loved it. I think yeah. one of the things that I love yeah. about musicals is because it's it's well produced. Kumbaga parang it's not just like oh, I'm just gonna sing here, like all drunk and whatever, and then because you know that's what Joaquin Phoenix reminded me of in this. Na para sa alam mo yung lasing mong tito na kumakanta ng karaoke. Medyo ganon yung vibe. Eh. But ito yung, this is what astounds me because it was well acted. Like it was. They, it was really it well was. acted. And it's beautiful visually. Diba like yung shots ni Joaquin Phoenix na naglalakad siya sa prison na yung, yung payong niya may colors mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden naging all black yung mga payong mm -hmm. to reflect mm -hmm. what it was. Alam mo like it, it was okay. visually stunning. It was so well acted, but I can't pinpoint exactly what I didn't like about it. You know what I oh, mean? Oh, I like, can. I think no. I can. 
<laughs> Nag-volunteer eh. Ah, uh, I can. Yeah, I can. Hindi, kasi, okay, I was going to say, meron siyang, meron siyang peaks and valleys. Okay. Like yung peak, there are actually scenes na I was like, ano oh peak, my God. Ano yung though? Ano yung parang pinaka, I'm trying to analyze kasi ko ano yung, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm usually not into that, ha? Pero like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then like alam mo, even the some of the unhinged parts uh-huh. were actually brilliant for me some of them okay. some of yeah. them uh like yung yung i really loved yung the joker yung yung the number called the joker right. yung the song yeah yung nasa courtroom like you know that was like oh my god that was beautiful oh, yeah. and um among other things mar- mm-hmm. marami siyang parang like the, the mo, courtroom yung, stuff i actually uh, really enjoyed like when parang, Pa, ano, ano, pero ang problema in between uh-huh. those parts that I really liked were stuff na talagang like parang for me it's over it's overindulgent mm-hmm. yung parang I don't know if the movie needed this you know maybe if there but was why'd like you put it there in the first place huh? parang one or two musical numbers maybe yeah. it would have been like a, it would have worked Alam mo yung yeah. very, ano, the first time I encountered this was way back in the 90s. Uh, Ali McBeal. It was okay, so weird. Yeah. Kasi, yeah. hindi siya, it was a joke. It, right. No, it wasn't a joke, but, It was what know, was going I, on I'm in her head. I'm pretty sure it was right. a wink-wink, ano na, because Ali McBeal is like a, a dramedy and it's a, yeah. it's a court courtroom drama. Tapos biglang, they had one episode where they turned it into a musical. Yung parang, right. I have a feeling yung parang kunyari tayo, when, when we were doing the, sh- the morning rush, yeah. na parang, halika mag-isang ano tayo na, laruin natin na mag-musical uh, tayo for the entire... Uh, like, it, it's you fun. know it's a wink-wink. Yeah. You know that it's a wink-wink. Ito kasi hindi mo alam But po. But if tinuloy-tuloy mo na. <laughs> Oo. Tapos oh. yung, yung parang, is this a wink-wink thing? Or talaga bang, are you really trying to make it a musical? You know what, or honestly, are, you know, that was the part. Like, I don't baka, know if... What were you trying to do? Baka wink-wink siya. Kasi honestly, okay. You know how at the... So many musical numbers, right? And then at the end, where where Joker was talking to Harley Quinn and pleading with her to not like you know go away and whatever, mm-hmm. and then Harley was still singing. He was like, "Please, I don't want to sing anymore. <laughs> like, just talk to me." <laughs> which is so again, <laughs> <self-aware>. <laughs> diba, Michelle, parang, could you please stop oh, singing? Just, yeah. and, then, and then I was like, in my head, I was like, parang, "Is this a mirror of what the everyone audience? is saying?" Yes. So you know, yeah. parang. That's that's what makes me think. Like, am I just not smart enough to understand it? Is there something here that you know better minds than us are seeing that that we're? Because I swear, honestly, like our entire row in the movie house when we watched it, like alam mo yung nagkakapaan kami after. Na wait lang, ako lang ba or hindi ko get? Parang like that was the that was the sentiment. Na uh, alam mo yun, yun nga eh, parang Am I just not cultured enough? Am I not smart enough to understand? Because it has me questioning. <clears throat> and man, there are so many. Yun nga, kasi parang, again, it's well acted. It really is. Like it is. For me, it's visually stunning. Especially the part where um Joaquin Phoenix basically like really takes on the Joker persona and then does this courtroom thing. I've really enjoyed that part. But everything else, it's like. Okay. Why? For Why are me, you even the, doing this? That was... the big, for me, the biggest crime is not actually the 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 musical mm. part. It's not for me. It's not the musical part. Um, it's not the worst part. Um, although, parang for me, yun nga eh, is like, it the pacing? Kung, kung ginawa mo siya kasing parang Chicago, like mm. the one with Renee Zellweger, or even Cats, the much yeah. hated Cats. Yeah. At least you know what they're doing. You you know that any moment they will break out into songs. And you're familiar right. with the songs. Ito, yeah. you're familiar with the songs, pero not in this context, because these are mm. classics, di ba? So, di mo lang alam kung kailan sila susulpot. Pero most of the songs, kilala mo, di ba? Now, um, for me, it was really like, most of the, you know how like, usually when you're watching this kind of event movie, hindi ka makawiwi, kasi like, mm-hmm. you might miss something important. Yeah. Like, I found myself like, Gusto mo magbanyo. Hindi, hindi pa naman ako nawiwiwi, pero alam mo, magbabanyo muna ako. Like, As if, I, wanted okay. to, I wanted to stretch my legs. I wanted to like... One thing, one thing I, I you know, I, I have to tip my hat off to for Joker Folly Adieu is that it gets people talking. 
It really it's does. True. Like it's immediately, because usually whenever we attend premieres, it's like okay, you know, we watch the premiere, go home after. Ito literal. A group of us were like, "I need a drink. Let's drink and d- discuss this, dissect this movie further." Alam mo yung ganon na parang I just needed a drink. <laughs> I don't know about that. Talking about this part. But I just needed a drink. <laughs> a long drink. Pero grabe, uh, diba? And then there's, oh, okay, there are so many things din kasi that for me, okay, kasi parang, kunwari, in, in, in the first Joker, whenever anybody would push him, you know, eventually it got to the point where he was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something about it because that's my persona now. You know what I mean? And then here, ang daming ginawa sa kanya, like, uh, his friend basically got killed. Remember the one in the jail? Mm. He didn't do anything about it. I thought it was this moment that I'm gonna snap and turn into the Joker. And then second, like he basically got gang banged in the shower. At least it was implied that mm. he was by the prison guards. And then again, nothing happened after that. And alam mo parang wala siyang clear climax except siguro yung pagsabog ng courtroom. That's pretty much it. Pero parang <laughs> really, yeah. diba? Like. And so I find it I find it so difficult to really pinpoint hmm. the one thing that made me not like it. I don't hate it. I'll be honest. I don't oh, hate okay, it. Okay, okay, no. For I me, just I think it, it, it. seriously. It's hmm. easy target lang kasi because of how oh, nga, terrible it's funny, it is. Uh. Pero like for me, it was so unpleasant. You know, you know how hmm. like so many bad things happen to the character in one? Yeah. Yeah. Na ganun din naman. Pero parang, like, I felt like I was. May kasi siya sa one. Parang gusto ko siya magpagpag afterwards. Uh-huh. Kasi parang, it was, it was not a pleasant watch. You mm-hmm. know how, like, by the end of Joker 1, like, I mean, grabe yung nangyari, di ba? The way yeah. he was pushed, the way, mm-hmm. you know, he ended up killing Robert De Niro. And, and then, Maury or whatever. And then parang yung, yun nga, it's the whole, like, oh, it, life got so bad that he snapped. Yeah. And he became the Joker. Right. It was so unpleasant. But you didn't ha- you like you after the movie, you were like, oh bravo. Like you wanted yeah. to stand up and clap. And like that was amazing. Yeah. This movie did not have that. It was yeah. just unpleasant. And as I was watching, I was like, Oh, I, I don't feel good. L- yeah. Like physically, I didn't feel good. Like I think I'm going to be sick. Yung, I don't know. I it was that kind of movie. <laughs> Parang it was like it was. It was not an easy watch. There's no bowing. Papano, kasi, no parang, matter how oh, oh no matter how terrible hmm. the events are, it was just one unpleasant scene after another. After another, yeah. And there was no redeeming value. There was no even parang I don't know. Because even even after the end of one, he was caught and he was on his way to being locked up. Parang you had this exhilarated feel. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to how to put it, but. No matter how terrible the events were, you were exhilarated. Dito yeah. parang like it was just one downer. After you were nothing. drained. <laughs> I was drained. Uh, I, I was it. drained. And how spoilery are we going to get? Because I don't know if this is going to. I think know, we can pretty the... much go spoilery already. Okay. Because because uh, spoiler alert, I don't know spoiler how alert. Much... Siguro the the only thing that was intriguing for me was the ending. Ending. Ah, uh, where? where okay, yeah, yeah. Ang parang what they're trying the to imply, uh, the theory is that Arthur Fleck is not the Joker. It's uh, the... He inspired. It's the parang... The it's Joker. what inspired. Yeah. I mean, he inspired. He was the original Joker. Yeah. But he's not the Joker that we know. And yeah. to a degree, that was kind Which of brilliant. Makes sense. Because uh, I didn't get how they could have reconciled this Joker. Kaya nga parang, mm-hmm. di ba, ang ganda niya sana kung stand-alone siya. Kasi nga parang, I don't know how this will fit in any universe. Right. In Plus, any diba, of in, the Batman in any, universes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but parang in any source material, the Joker has no name. Kung baga parang never yes. na-identify yes. yung character niya, di ba? Like who he was prior oh. to, you know, becoming the Joker and whatever. You parang I didn't know how... Jack Nicholson? Parang, how ba? Di- parang may name ba siya in... Oh, pa- so I didn't know how this would bleed into it with any. Oh. So sabi ko, baka it's completely separate, di ba? Right. But then, you know, and especially if medyo mabasa ka dun sa mga the way, the way parang Todd Phillips and uh, sila, 
sila James Gunn. Uh, Medyo they're kind of like not really seeing eye to eye with this. So right. parang akala ko parang oh, maybe it's going to be separate. But mm-hmm. with this one, I don't know if it's canon. Parang some of some people are saying that bak- baka you know, maybe baka this one will be an uh, ledger. This is the origin of the Heath Ledger right. Joker or maybe it's baka just one of many jokers. Uh, diba? Baka it's one of many pero, jokers. The way also, doing okay, it. while while that was brilliant, like the end and how, you know, it, it's a foreshadowing of how, you know, the Joker that we know and love came about. Was it necessary to make an entire movie with 13 musical numbers just to prove that point? <laughs> yon. <laughs> yon, yon yes. eh. Alam mo yung, <laughs> if it if it ended on the first Joker, I would have been okay. You know, like, I wasn't really looking for a sequel for, mm-hmm. for it. But because it's there, obviously you watched it, then yeah. Okay, know. for me, panga, I'll, I'll go. Okay, I'll I'll go a step further and say mm-hmm. if if they made it like an else world kind of thing, like mm-hmm. uh, this is this is a different version of the Batman yeah. and Harley Quinn. This is not you know the the DC version, the canon version. It's yeah. Elseworld. Diba yung Elseworld, parang, parang siyang what-if version ng Batman universe ng what-if ng Marvel na parang it's a different Batman, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, it's kaya nga lumalabas yung mga ibang versions ni Batman sa Elseworlds. Kasi nga, hindi naman ito yung ano, they're free, they're more free to um, explore. Parang, right. parang siyang multiverse Batman. Yes. It would have worked in that sense Kunyari wala yung Joker 1 and they just released this na parang, oh, it's a musical Batman. And right. It's a different yeah. kind. I mean, it's a musical Joker. Para it's a different kind samurai of Batman. Alam mo, mga ganyan, yes, oh, exactly. Just a different iteration na parang, of the If you just made it maybe like that and then made it a full-on musical, yeah. I probably would have liked it. Kasi yeah. lang parang I couldn't reconcile this Joker with the Joker 1. That you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I just Yun watched. Pa. Pretty, so, much they, pretty much everything that they pretty much everything that they did kasi ang daming parang sinira mo yung character build up nung Joker 1. Yeah. Diba na parang all of a sudden it's like what he chose not to be the Joker, you know what I mean? And you know that's that's kind of his persona and then all of a sudden he's just like, you know what, one day I don't want to be the Joker anymore. I just want to be Arthur Fleck. And like the, what Where'd that come from? Well, I make it on, so. uh-uh. Exactly. But you know what? Honestly, at the end of the day, whatever you read, and I will always stand by this, watch it on your own. Like, formulate yeah. your own opinion. Make your because own I, decision. Again, you know, I, have, like, I have heard like, of people who really liked it. Who really liked it. Yeah. So. Kasi, diba, I watched it pretty late. Uh, I yeah. wasn't able to attend the premiere. So when I watched it, you na nakita ko na yung, like, you know, like, uh, the first ever superhero movie to get a D mm. in a cinema score. It was so like, you know, but I was like, you know what? I will make my own decision. So yeah. I went and watched it and parang I agreed. So <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. But I watched it. But I watched it. <laughs> you watched it. No, you uh, watched yeah. it. Uh, for me, like, I can't. I don't care how, like, even naman yung mga other, yung mga the, the, the ones that people didn't really enjoy. Yeah. I mean, I still watched it. I mean, you know, right. I'm a fan of the like, genre. Like Morbius. So, oh, Morbius. I, yeah. I, I would still watch it. I, I would yeah. still watch it. So, yeah. But you know what? Make up your own mind. Uh, this was like a... It was a mind F for me. Yeah. I did yeah. not know exactly what to make of it. I mean, like, I was... I was. If you want to feel empty and hollow I was outside. confused. I mean, inside, after. I think, I think it's yeah. a pretty good... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it's a pretty... <laughs> mm, that was but, an interesting experience. Uh, of course, we want to thank our partners, the Pod Network Entertainment. You can check us out on social media. It's at OnlyFunPH at Chico Garcia for him at Gino more for me. All right, so thank you very much, and uh, whew, yeah, that was interesting. And we'll see you next episode. All right, bye-bye. bye bye. Bye. The opinions of podcast creators, hosts, and guests are not necessarily reflective of the official stance of the Pod Network Entertainment, its hosts, or other network programs. The content created by the people behind the podcast is personal and not meant to harm any religion, ethnicity, group, organization, company, or individual. The Pod Network Entertainment.